Oh, Super Sonic, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got. It's Victor Crowley, the modern take on a slasher. It's just, it's not a, it's not a prequel, it's not a sequel, it's not an, it's, it's an original. And it's nice to see someone going back and paying homage to all those slasher films of the late 80s and uh, stuff like that. So that's what, basically, that, that's what Hat Hatchet is. It's even played by Kane Hodder, which if you're a horror fan, you know Kane Hodder's played many roles in horror, but most synonymous as playing at Jason Voorhees in his later career. So this is very cool to see that Vic he also plays Victor Crowley, which has now become a horror icon in his own right. And yeah, I'm loving this figure. I think there's been, there's been four films now of Hatchet. I think, I think there's been four. The fourth one was, was, li was literally called just ha Hatchet Victor Crowley, wasn't it, I believe. Uh, this one seems to be based on that original movie. So that's very cool. Shame it doesn't come with the severed head. That would have been even better. But guys, let's take a closer look at this awesome figure. So it does come in a blister pack, which is very nice. I wish these did pop open and close, though. They look like they should, but they really don't. Once you open them, there's no sealing them. So I really wish these card backs would open and reseal. Uh, but we've got some nice artwork on the back there. But you guys already know what's about to happen. I'm going to be opening it. <laughs> I love opening my figures as you guys know so he will be open and displayed yeah there's no there's gonna be no easy way to get into this trusty snip snips do your thing I'm gonna poke a hole there and just rip down the side of the box yeah we'll do the same along the top as well so poke pokey and rip poke pokey and rip so if you do that I can pull that plastic cover there you go. Tore that box of shreds. Alright, so here he is. He's got a couple of rope ties, so we need to free him from those. He's got one at the waist and one at the feet. Be careful, because it is a clothed neck figure. And obviously, it's going to be... You'll rip the clothing if you nick them. So just be very careful when removing the rope ties. That's one there. Uh, the one for the waist, I'm going to go around the back. Give that plastic a little pull to tighten it and snip it, snip. There we go. And then pull from this side. Alright, so that's freed the figure. Nice. We do have an alternate hand as well. He always comes with his hatchet weapon. And he's got some form of. Is that like. Is, it, is that the motor from the boat? I can't tell that I've been to Oh, it's a, it's a sander. It's been a while since I've seen the film. Is it a sander? Is that what he uses? Interesting. I'm going to pop those little rope ties back in the packaging. That's very cool. Yeah, it's a belt sander. I thought it was. It looked like a belt sander. Just pop that there for safekeeping. All right, so the figure itself is really nice, actually, guys. This is a really cool figure. It is a necker, so I am going to say what I say to everyone: make sure the you, you can see them better on this one. Obviously, it's got no no sleeves or anything, but just make sure the joints are in the right places before you start moving them and bending them. Sometimes with the clothed figures, they can be a little bit flimsy, but this one seems okay. You can see most of the upper articulation anyway. He's got some actual real hair going on, which is nice. And the head as well is on a full ball joint there. Oh, it does static upwards, so just be very careful. It's very slippy, that hair, when I was pulling that up. There we go. Forwards, backwards. Wobbly head from side to side a little bit as well, which is nice. It's got a very nice uh, expression on his face as well, which is cool. That hair is really annoying, though. It's very staticky. Might have to put a bit of lacquer on that just to push it back. Um, add, so, so, where were we? <laughs> add, lift out, bicep, double, sorry, single hinge elbow, and hands are on a little ball joint there. Head's on a ball joint. There's a waist swivel and an abdomen crunch as well, which is nice, so you can crunch him around there, as well as sort of side to side a little bit, and as well as a little bit of a swivel action. The legs do lift out, but as only as much as this piece will allow, and that's already gone to like a blue fray there, as you can see, so I would definitely be very careful when bending that outwards. Uh, but you can move his legs forwards again be very careful there's 
that's putting some pressure on these blue bits here. So you just don't want to wrench the clothing too much. Uh, there is a single hinged knee there, which is nice. I don't think that's a double. No, it's not. Single hinged knee. And then the feet are on rocker and pivot. There's no shin break, but feet are on rocker and pivot and ball joints. And as well, he's got little holes in the bottom of my feet, should you wish to use a display base. My only gripe, the views the, on the bottom, the bottom of the boot look, they've used flesh coloured pins on the inside so that when you flex his foot, whether it's front or back, there's no, paint, no black paint on there. So you can actually see like a flesh tone. Not digging that. Hopefully, the clothing will cover that. If not, I might have to take a black bit of paint to that just to cover it up. I like the boots though, I believe the boots, yeah, weren't they the same ones we used on the Scream figure, I think, look, look to be very much the same. I like the fact that the dungarees cover them as well, which is nice. He's even got fake little buckles and things, well, they, I wonder if they're actually, they actually usable, I doubt it. Oh no, they actually are! The dungaree buckles are, are, are actually real, you can actually push them forward and unbuckle them, which is nice as well. That is decent, you know. It's a very nice figure. So he does come with a spare hand. I'm not sure why I'm going to... I don't think I'm ever going to use that other hand. Because it is just the same... It's the same left hand. But it's another grab hand. Which we've already got a grab hand on. So it makes no sense as to why they've included a secondary grabbing hand. Just a thinner version of it. But the hatchet fits in this first hand just fine. So I mean I don't, I don't know why we would ever need a second hand. Oh, right, okay, so it is a bit too, it's a bit too open. Okay, so if I pop that one hand off, pop this other hand on. Right, so I've now got the other hand on. Does that mean this one's going to hold it a lot tighter? Yeah, ah, okay. So they give you the secondary hand, it's because it's a tighter hand for the hatchet. So it doesn't slide through as easy. And you can kind of... Swing it over hand. Poof. Very cool figure. I'm really, really liking this one. He's very cool looking. That face sculpt as well is very menacing. Look at that face sculpt. That is scary. It does come with a secondary belt sander as well. Not that I'm ever going to use it. I'm thinking just I'm going to keep the, the hatchet with him because it's hatchet. It's, it's Victor Growly. Uh, but he does come with the alternate belt sander as well. Which is very well detailed again to be fair. He's got lots of Silver marks on it and the blood stains underneath are just insane with the black specks on the top to make it look wear, like worn a bit. Very decent. I'm loving the fact that the left hand does come with the open palm hand as well. Very nice. So this is a um, 8 inch scale figure so it's not going to fit in with the regular 6 inch figures. It will tower over them. Um, but this will fit in with the range of figures that are also clothed. So like we've got the Nun. There is a, there's a Freddy figure that I've got as well, uh, I believe, I think that's all I've got in the clothes range actually, I've got, a, oh no, I've got a Jade, I've got a Scream figure, oh I've got the, I've got um, Leatherface as well as a clothes one in my range, and then I've got the Scream figure, so it's hat, it will be joining my horror icons, and don't worry guys, this isn't the, the last time you're going to see hat, Hatchet, um, on Monday of next week guys, I will be getting this figure back out, because I'm going to be doing another video based on horror. I'm going to be comparing all my horror figures together for you and showing you the different uh, versions of them and stuff like that. So stay tuned for Monday for a, a bit of a rogues gallery of horror figures. I'm very much looking forward to doing that one.
So guys, this is one of the larger cloth NECA figures that I've had in my lifetime because he's, if you look here, he's actually scaling taller than the door and the garage. So he is one taller mofo. It's been a long time since I've seen ha ha uh, the Hatchet film, but I don't remember him being that tall. Um, when I stand him next to the seven inch Jason, he actually looks pretty decently scaled to be fair there. And this is just the ultimate Jason. This is not a cloth version. This is the cloth Freddy which I like to use. I prefer the Cloth Freddy to a regular Freddy. And actually they all look decent together and I always put them that Freddy and Jason together because I think they look good and scale well together. Ones that aren't going to fit this series are going to be your older figures. So the Leatherface figure it looks awfully small by comparison with the rest of them. Not that he's overly tall in the film. And likewise, Myers is going to be a lot shorter than the rest of them. But all in all, on a shelf, if you were to put them in some form of order, they would look good together. And of course, it's nice to have one of every horror icon on the shelf. I know, that's what I do. And I've left some gaps up there right now with these guys out, but they do look awesome together. And it's great to have Hatchet in the series. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But guys, what are your thoughts on Hatchet? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed today's video, then please show you hit that like and subscribe button. It would really help us really support us and really help us out making videos like this in the future. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I'm your host, Soup Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. And until then, may the Force be with you. Bye!